Welcome again to the iSmile series. And today's topic is also on project management. Um, we just posted another video uh, which talk about project success. In the video, the, we mentioned the concept of idea management uh, and we said maybe we'll post another video about it and here we are. Basically, uh, every project is launched for a reason. The driver for the project is uh, typically either an opportunity, so let's, we're going to use the risk management terminology here, it is an, an opportunity where management uh, expects some benefit from the project uh, in response to maybe a business need, a market need, community, if it's social project, whatever the case might be, there is a, a project uh, to capture an opportunity. Or the project could be in response to a risk, a threat. Um, maybe competitive threats, maybe security issue, um, whatever the case might be, again, the project could be launched for, it could be as a reason for, uh, to respond to a threat. Now, when we talk about where does the idea come from? Ideally, ideas could come from anywhere. And even in some organization, we've seen ideas come from customers. Um, we should nothing wrong with it. The question is how do you capture those ideas? And whatever that idea is, management, if they like the idea, if they like the idea, that should go through a review process. Now, in our methodology, uh, the first gate, we do have a stage gate process in our methodology. And the first gate says that we should assess the project brief or the project idea statement. And we ask for three questions to be answered. The first question is, what is a project? It's just brief one sentence or two sentence maximum explaining what is the project? What is the product of the project? What are we doing? The second question is the why. Why are we doing it? Okay, obviously it could be uh, an opportunity or it could be a response to a threat, regardless what it is, why are we doing the project? However, the third question which generated some debates is that how does the project align to the strategic objective of the organization? And our view is no project should be done unless it does align to a strategy. So if these three points are met, project could be authorized to go to the next phase, I mean the next step, which is to ideally to develop or conduct a feasibility study to make sure that the project business case is there, the justification is there, and the organization can deliver the project successfully. If not, of course, they shouldn't cancel the project. But that feasibility, we'll talk about that maybe some other time. Where is the debate? The debate is, uh, I mean, obviously, one of the comments we received on uh, one of our blogs one time is that um, hmm, the ideas should always come from the strategic plan. So why do we need the third points? You know, because technically all projects should be driven by organization strategy. Well, in uh, La 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 Land, maybe that's the case. In organization that probably highly mature and they truly believe and work and practice uh, strategic planning concepts and they do have strategic plan and they convert the strategic plan into goals, specific initiative and goals and then convert these initiative and goals into programs and portfolios. And then from there they go down to the project level, then yes, of course, every project by default is strategically aligned. And there is no need for that third point. However, reality is, uh, here on Earth, uh, you know, maybe uh, we need that have the super moon theorem or whatever it is to highlight this point for us, is that a lot of organization, even if they believe in strategic planning and all of this, you know, nice stuff, they still have project could be generated from people, employees, that does not come from as an output of the strategic planning process. What do we do with those? We ignore them? Or we wait for the next update of a strategic plan? Or should we consider them? Yeah? So basically, ideally, in an ideal world, a utopian world, all project, 100% must come from the strategic plan. However, however, uh, the reality is, even in the highest mature level organization, 
some project should come from uh, the trenches, should come from people, should come from the teams, should come from customers. Uh, and then, obviously, if they are not in the strategic plan, they, maybe they should be added. But ideally, what we're saying is that every project must link. So if it doesn't link, then, of course, that project does not uh, belong into the organization and should not be uh, accepted or approved.